So um, I have been officially informed that Premier Jim Prentice was the victim of a terrible airplane accident last night. I've spoke with his wife Karen and expressed the profound sorrow and sympathy that I feel and that I know all Albertans feel in the face of this unspeakable tragedy. I've also spoken with PC leader Rick McIver to offer our condolences to members of his caucus as well as to members of his party. There are no words adequate for moments like this, as my family knows very well. There are, however, words to remember Premier Prentice's contributions to Alberta. He served our province in so many roles for so many years. He deeply loved Alberta. He worked tirelessly for all of us. In this true spirit of one who is committed to public service. I benefited from his advice and the government of Alberta is continuing to pursue many of his initiatives. All Albertans are the better for this. In the days to come, we will find an appropriate occasion to fully remember Premier Prentice's career, his achievements, and his contributions. But today, our thoughts are with his family, with Karen and their daughters, Christina, Cassia, and Kate, and with two grandchildren, who will have much to be proud of in their grandfather. This tragedy was made worse by the death on the same flight of Premier Prentice's good friend and father of his son-in-law, Dr. Ken Galatley. Our thoughts are with Premier Prentice's friends and colleagues, as well as the friends and families of all the victims of this devastating accident. For Alberta, today is a, so a day of sorrow in the face of terrible tragedy. And to all Albertans, I urge you to look at the faces of those we love and remember that every moment with them is a precious gift. Thank you.